Should we sally forth and continue to find out what happened? <sighs> you gotta go to the idea being asking you something. something. What did I just want? An actual environment. The answer? <laughs> Well, I'm gonna ask you. All right, so when you're working with clients, what is direct measurement when you're working with a client? Like a, with a the actual response we're trying to resolve, if you will, or the one we're trying to teach. So, so. what makes it direct versus indirect? Uh, directly observing it. With you're going to watch, right? Yeah, you have to see it occur. You, you have, have to. to be there in the moment, in time, as it's happening. Right. Yeah. Not them reporting on it. Yes, yeah, it's not someone saying so and so did it yesterday. <laughs> it's, it's exactly the same thing. Yeah. In OBM. When we're asking questions about the business, we're going to ask questions about the performance of the organization, right? What's one of the what's a simple metric to measure the performance of an organization? Business. Business or money? Money. Okay. That's, that's base, basic. So money is produced by the work that people do, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. So we can we can measure the work that people do. Mm -hmm. Hopefully directly, right? The problem is how much how much <laughs> think of all the data that we can collect <laughs> direct measurement on we people working. Like for example, showing up to work. Yeah, that, is it? it it's that, direct. That, I can that, count the number of people present, yeah. but is it a valid measure of an output of the work that they're doing? No. Yeah. So anyway, back to direct measurement. We're going to measure everything directly as possible. So the number of hours build. Which would equate to dollars down the road. So that makes right. Sense. And we got all those layers that okay, fine. We're going to bill these out to insurance companies. We're going to bill this out. Now you got AR to deal with, and you got to calculate all the data that's associated with all that stuff. I get it, but. You're looking at how much, how many hours were delivered, and how many hours were built. We've got systems that can do that. So there's a whole bunch of things that we could do that are irrelevant. I could yeah. measure the clothes that you wore today. You could. Pants are half up. Right. Trying to think what else. Uh, some examples of other direct measures. Um, how often do I mean? We're, we're kind of bouncing around this. So what's the? I don't even go there. Anything else that we want to talk about with direct? Because like, well, the problem direct, I'm having is I keep bouncing into the indirect I, world. I, I think it's because we've already kind of established those essentially basic levels of direct measurement we're going to get. It all ends up falling in indirect some capacity because it's all through report. It's Very summarized hard. into report. Yeah. All the, the time build, the attendance, yeah. the cancellations get summarized into that fashion. So I don't need to measure what you say you're doing. I measure what you did. Hey, were you supposed to have 15 assessments this month? That's exactly it. Great, you got 15 assessments. I gave you did them all in one day. It cost 10 days. Do some work. But if you matter. do them all in one day, I'm going to make you do more each day. But yeah, shh, don't tell anybody. Yeah, bar's too high. Um, yeah, let's see what else. Uh, so when we're thinking about direct measurements, get as tightly as possible to measure the thing that you're actually interested in. Um, if, if you're talking about the performance of a staff, um, if you're talking about performance of a supervisor, um, if you're talking about the performance of the, the board, whatever it is, you want to measure it as tightly as possible using a direct approach. We always prefer direct approaches. Um, like, that, like what? Like the water. Yeah. Yeah, we could talk about how much water fell or we could measure how much water fell. And how you're measuring it would probably make a difference. Yep. I can measure with cups. Counting drops is going to be hard. You know, this is some big drops. Yeah, but There's one big drop going on. It doesn't even, yeah, yeah. like it doesn't but stop. Measuring the volume. Yep. Gallons. Better. Yeah. So, Labeling and choosing the right metric, right? The tool to measure things. There's so yeah. many layers that this we can get into 0. here. 5. Measurement's a thing. We kind of went over some direct measurement. There's a lot more in depth here that we're going to get um, at other times and other videos, but um, you can take a look at our other direct assessment videos and see.